Hello from Juba. I'd like to apologize for the lull on the blog over the last week or so. The election period has been really demanding and I've been on the go constantly. I haven't had much time to write as much as I would have liked to. I'm standing here now, six days after the elections began here in South Sudan, in front of one of Juba's many polling stations. Inside now, uh, election monitors and election officials are counting thousands of ballots that have been recently cast by the Southern Sudanese here. Uh, it's been 24 years in this country since the last election, and I know that there have been a lot of reports of irregularities and other problems with this election, but from my standpoint and what I've observed, I've been remarkably pleased with how this election has actually gone. There's been a tremendously peaceful uh, atmosphere throughout most of the places that I've been to. Uh, even despite these frustrating irregularities that people are experiencing, such as the voter registration discrepancies where people can't find their names on lists, despite these things, people have remained calm and peaceful and largely excited about these elections. I think that the notion that, uh, this, uh, that Sudan was going to have its first election in 24 years and that it would go off without a hitch is, is really unrealistic. Uh, in a place that has the history that Sudan has, the history of conflict and political tumult, uh, I think if these elections conclude peacefully, they will have been successful. And I think that the Sudanese have learned a tremendous amount from this experience about potential problems that they could face and things they need to rectify before they face their independence referendum, which will take place, hopefully, at the beginning of 2011. I, I, I can't stress enough that some of the reporting that I've seen, particularly international reporting, has really colored uh, these elections in quite a negative light. And while there certainly is truth to a lot of the reports of these irregularities, particularly the voting uh, registration discrepancies, I, I do think that the spirit of these elections has been tremendous. Uh, it's been cooperative. It's been a really, I think, fruitful experience for, for at least the southern Sudanese. Um, and, and I think that, that it's going to have a great impact on, uh, on the next few months. So hopefully people will remain calm uh, when, once the results are announced. Uh, unfortunately, we've heard here that uh, in Juba, there's actually the UN has issued a warning to all of its staff to avoid non-essential movement after 5 p.m., which is a marked uh, decrease from the previous 11 p.m. curfew that we've had. Uh, I assume that's because of reports of potential violence here in Juba, but uh, you know, we hope that things will continue on as they have been and that, that the Sudanese remain on track and focused on the importance of the referendum and not allow this kind of uh, internal political competition to take them off, off of the peaceful rails and back into conflict. So that's all for now. More soon.